Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Kate Wetzel. I am from JetBlue, and I'm on the corporate social responsibility team. I just want to thank you all for coming out today. We have many of our amazing crew members from Bradley Airport, so hopefully some of you have seen their smiling faces if you've flown us outside of Bradley. Um, and I just want to thank Knox Park and the city of Hartford for everything that they've done to put this together. Last year, um, our team spearheaded by Chris Steele, Right there, our CSR liaison, um, he garnered about 42,000 votes from the city of Hartford to help supply a green space, so kudos to him. And I'd like to thank the city of Hartford and Knox Parks for identifying such an amazing opportunity for JetBlue to really provide a green space to an area that wasn't necessarily feeling as green as it should be. And um, so thank you. Our crew members have had a great time today, and we hope that you will continue to enjoy this park and inspire humanity through everything that you're doing in the city of Hartford. Um, I'd like to welcome someone who's been a long-term partner of Heaven Skate Park, which is Adam Logan from Prudential. To say a few. Thank you. Uh, on behalf of Prudential and the City of Hartford, we're very happy to have a partnership with JetBlue and Nuts Foundation for the park. And uh, we look forward to making this place everything it should be uh, for the time that the baseball stadium opens up. And uh, thank you very much for the opportunity. Uh, next up speaking, we have Mayor Pedro Cigar, uh, a, a long-term advocate for green okay. space, um, beauty, and doing all the small things right in Hartford. Thank you. First of all, I want to thank JetBlue because 50 grand is good money to help our park right here. Um, I want to I want to send a big shout out. I don't know where he went. Councilman, Councilman Cotto, where are you? He went out to lunch. Let me tell you, um, Councilman Cotto. Um, and um, and Lenny um, really have been the stewards of this park, which is growing on me. Okay, um, when I when I was in the South Bronx, we had a, a little park on 140th Street and uh, Brook Avenue. It was called the People's Park, and this brings me um, a lot of memories of that park because it was more than a sporting place. It was a place where you had the voice of protest. It was the place where you had the voice of the youth. It was a constant reminder in the midst of our community that we are the community and we're here to stay. As much as I like all of the development that we're bringing, we need to make sure that our community stays well-grounded and that our community has a place right in the midst of everything that's happening to let people know that things aren't happening within our community. So I want to thank all the people who gather here, uh, whether it's for sports. I like the fact that JetBlue is a partner, thank you, with Knox Park, because Knox Park is about green and keeping things green. And um, this will be a really good opportunity for our park to make sure that you have the landscaping amenities that we need to really honor and continue to tribute our park. Um, this is great. There's a lot of art here that I like. Some of it, eh, not so much, but most of it, the big art, the artist art, I love. And we have an artist right here. He's shaking his head. Right here. You, I see you painting. <laughs> so I want to I wanna thank everybody that's here. And um, let me just read over my notes because um, every so often I forget to um, mention someone or something. And um, uh, it um, comes back to bite me. But uh, this park did open in 2014. I was here for the grand opening. It was the great child of former city councilman Luis Cotto and his assistant, Brandon Mahoney. I don't know if Brandon is here, but Brandon, I think he's already a lawyer, but he still comes back here and he's a, a big part of this. This was a result of a task force that was created when I was back on the city council, serving alongside with councilman Cotto. And um, it was a project that is a collaboration between the users and also the corporate community that surrounds us. And my goal is to continue Continue to launch the sport of skating. You know I'm into sports. I like baseball. I like soccer. I like skating. To continue to have this a place where we can nurture skating talent so that we can take part in those wonderful competitions that we see. So my hope is that when the stadium is up, we can have a big regional skateboarding championships. You see those big ramps, right? The skaters, right? That's what I would like to see here. So 
Uh, keep on practicing. Don't don't break too many bones because we have you know we have to we have to have we want to win some medals. But again, thank you, Jeff Boo. Thank you, Knox Parks. Thank you uh, to the folks here at Wexford Park, and uh, we look forward to beautifying this place and continuing to demonstrate some of the best graffiti art that there is. Thank you. And the uh, next person speaking is Ron Pitts, Knox's executive director and leader. Ron. Thank you, Ron. This is awesome. As a, as a uh, one of the original members of the Skateboard Task Force here in Hartford, I've seen this place come a long way. And I also want to thank uh, ex-councilman Cotto, who's here somewhere. I uh, just saw him. He, he shepherded, shepherded this park and the skateboard park through all the whole process, right from the very beginning. So I want to thank him. I also want to thank Senator Blumenthal and uh, Senator Murphy uh, for being here, for not being here, but sending someone here and supporting us. Thank you so much for that. Um, the city of Hartford, <clears throat> Mayor Segarra and his administration. Um, as he said, it takes green to keep things green. Um, and the, my biggest heartfelt thanks goes out to Jet Blue for making that possible. Uh, across the street is where we made a big impact today. Uh, we removed about a ton of weeds and we replaced those weeds with drought tolerant plants um, that are perennials that have continued to bloom year after year after year. Um, reminiscent, um, and actually our inspiration came from the, the uh, High Line in New York City which is a, an old um, elevated train track, now uh, transformed into a hiking trail and planted with drought-tolerant native plants, uh, exactly what we're trying to do here. So again, from Knox Parks, oh, I want to thank the dancers and the drummers. Thank you, guys. Uh, I always appreciate your work. <clears throat> but uh, thank you again, Jet Blue, and enjoy. Uh, I'm Ryan O'Halloran and I manage fundraising and marketing for Knox, by the way. Uh, I, I'm going to keep it very short, uh, just in terms of what has made this day and this park awesome is collaboration and a lot of times unlikely collaboration. Uh, so we, we really do thank everybody here, uh, from Senator Murphy's office, uh, from Senator Blumenthal's office, uh, to Jeff Balloon, to Prudential, uh, to all of the cool kids that hang out here, uh, including the Underground Coalition and the Friends of Heaven Skate Park, uh, who have been tireless advocates for this, this space and that's how it's going to become a reality this year and then we look forward to working with everybody. So uh, at some point, some of the JetBlue folk will be getting back to work, uh, having a good time still, and I think that there's a lot of jams and celebration left in the uh, various performers we have. So thank you everybody.